Hello, I'm weatherbug meteorologist Rachel Peterson. It's what movies are made of, the unbelievable. But in 1991, the perfect storm was for real, and a sword fishing boat called the Andrea Gale got caught in it. A nor'easter so strong, the ship and crew disappeared. But what exactly is a nor'easter? The simple answer, a storm with northeast winds. The more complex answer, a storm or low pressure system that develops off the east coast near the Carolinas. It strengthens as it heads north towards New England. The storm tracks up the east coast along a warm band of water called the Gulf Stream. These storms get their name based on the direction of the wind. Long ago, sailors would refer to storms by the direction of the wind. So a storm with northeasterly winds would be called a northeaster. Over time, captains shortened the name to nor'easter. The east coast is the perfect region for these storms because the warm air and warm water of the Atlantic collides with the cold air pouring down out of Canada. Nor'easters can happen any time of the year, but are most frequent and most violent between October and April when warm air and moisture are plentiful. A strong nor'easter can bring hurricane force winds creating large waves and high water levels and can cause beach erosion, flooding, and damage to houses along the coast from Virginia to Maine. As the storm system moves up the east coast, it taps the Atlantic moisture, dumping a wintry mess of sleet, dangerous freezing rain, and snow over densely populated areas. Some of the metropolitan areas likely to be hit the hardest are Washington, D.C., New York City, and Boston. A powerful nor'easter can bring cities to a standstill. Snow and wind may create blizzard conditions that paralyze the region, closing city streets and making it nearly impossible to get anywhere. Nor'easters can form over land and move to the west of east coast cities, but these are less destructive with gusty winds and mostly rain. Now the thing to remember with a nor'easter is these storms can occur frequently, but only a few of them are strong enough to make it into the news.